Welcome back. After four years of renovations, the sun bears at the Honolulu Zoo are ready to show off their new home. So cute. And to check it out and all of the great excitement, of course, we had to send Dallas Antiveros to show us a preview of the new exhibit. And he joins us live with the cuddly creatures. Or probably not so cuddly, but they're cute <laughs> this morning. Hey, Dallas. Hey, Kelly and Ross, you know, you're so right. They do look so cuddly and cute, but I'm pretty sure I can't go over there and hug them, even though I want to give them a the big bear hug. But here, join us on Take Two. We got two special sun bears, and we'll, we'll introduce their names to you in just a bit. But until then, we got Adrian, who is hello. a zookeeper here at the Honolulu Zoo. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Thank you so much for having us this morning. Of course, the bears are chowing down. They're already having their breakfast, but let's go ahead and introduce them. Go ahead and name each bear and how old they are. All right. So the bear uh, closest to us right now is Juwita. Uh, That's Juwita right yep, there. Uh, she's okay. about 24 years old. Her name actually means beautiful woman. Ooh, okay. And uh, right over there in the corner, we have Blackie. He is 23 years old. Blackie. Or 23 years young, rather. Oh, there he yeah. is. Okay. And we just set out some food for them. What kind of foods do they like to eat? Uh, these guys are frugivores for the most part, but they will eat a wide variety of fruits and vegetables as well as invertebrates like roly polies and other insects. So they eat a wide variety. And you said they are 23 and 24? Yes. So they're 90s babies. They're millennial bears. I guess so, yeah. And <laughs> do they get any bigger than this? Uh, these guys are full grown. They can get bigger uh, just depending on their diet and the subspecies, etc. Um, I have seen sun bears that are over 200 pounds, but that oh, is a wow. hefty, hefty sun bear. Uh, so that's a little overweight for those guys. How much would you say these bears weigh? Mm, I would say probably just a little bit over 100 pounds. A little bit over 100. Now, there's something very unique about the sun bear, they kind of have a trademark on their chest. Do you kind of want to explain what it is? Yes. Uh, so they are called the sun bear due to the patch on their chest that looks like the sun setting or rising. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was looking up some Google pictures last night, and it kind of looks like a lay too. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like around their neck, and it's a bright yellow too, so mm -hmm. it's easy to spot them. But I kind of noticed their face is a little different compared to other species of bears. It's a little bit more wide and somewhat flat. Is that right? Yeah, and um, it might also appear that way because they're so wrinkly that their skin almost comes up over their head. Okay. Uh, they, their skin is only attached at about seven points on their body, so they're extra wrinkly, extra loose skin, and that's so if they get in a really tight situation, they could wiggle right out of that tight si situation. And to help them wiggle out, do they use their feet at all? Because I noticed that when they walk, they kind of have their nails out, kind of like a little bit upwards. They are extremely dexterous. Uh, it's actually really surprising how dexterous they can be. So, yeah, they can bend their hands and their, or their paws very well. Nice. And then you guys have now been open for a week now after being closed for four years because of construction. Tell me, what has the response been from the community seeing these sun bears? Maybe for the first time or seeing them once again. It's been really exciting and amazing. As someone who does rescue work for sun bears, to see this many passionate people about them and yeah. having so many guests ask about them, it's been so exciting uh, to hear so many people caring about them. Uh, because when people see something and care about it, they actually are more prone to want to make a difference when they actually see it. So. That so makes me true. really excited to see all the positive feedback. They're so ready for their close-up. Yeah. I love them singing bananas. They're like, meow, meow, meow. Yeah, and it's so good right to see how the skin's almost coming over her face. Yeah. Uh, and how wrinkly they really mm -hmm. can be. Well, you know, we're still going to be hanging out here for the rest of Take Two because I want to get into the certain threats that this species yes. is facing because, of course, the Honolulu Zoo is a, is a facility that protects these species and, you know, continues to have them in our world. So we'll get into more details about that coming up in the second half of Take Two. And until then, I'm going to go ahead and send things over to Kelly Ross in the studio. Thank you very much, Dallas. And they look so adorable uh -huh. that you want to just go in there and play with them. But of course, you can't. And you can actually see a little bit of the patch. Yeah, the when chest. he went up. Hopefully, they, they show off a little yeah. bit more. But she said they eat fruit. So, Dallas, just I don't put know. Put a banana up top. And <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, coming up next, 